Okay, so I'm doing something today. This is my old fish house. I'll take the cover off. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Over there in the corner, you can probably see what I'm about to do. Okay, cover's off. Okay, here she is all dressed up for the party. What I'm gonna do is, as you can see, this isn't a quilted house. I'm gonna take a moving blanket and I'm gonna see if I can put it up in the roof. It's really, that's the only bummer is the, these older ones drip on you once you're out there long enough. That's what I'm gonna do. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the first thing I'm gonna do. Velcro straps that are in the center. Undo them. I'm gonna leave these poles up. I forgot to mention one thing. Um, when I set this up just now, it's totally dry. It's been sitting in my heater garage at about, I got it at 65 for about an hour now. But it was already dry before every time after I use it. I bring it into my garage and I let it sit in the heater garage for however long it takes to completely dry it out. So that's basically step one. But then what I do is, when setting it up, move all your corners around so everything's completely straight as it's on the uh, folding deal. And then I came in and I set up all the poles so everything's tight. As tight as I can get it. Okay, so remember we released all the Velcro, the center ones at all. I haven't released these on the ends yet, you want to, because that helps keep it tight. Okay. But what I did is I centered the blanket as much as I can. We'll fix it when we get further. But I started at the front of the door because it's easier to go. It's easier to go up and over and leave these beams in because you they're there anyway and this helps keep it tight again so you just go up and over all this stuff okay hold on okay now once you can get it as even as you can in the center most center pole what I did is I because there's extra I fold it over the corners, right at the very corners of the very middle frame. I made sure that I made sure that these folds match, because then you know you you're pretty good on center. And then pull the very front to the edge of this piece of Velcro. So this is at least past the Velcro because that acts as kind of a holder. And then same on the middle and the back side. Give yourself enough for that Velcro piece there too. So what we're gonna do is cut slits in here so the Velcro can fall through it and actually acts as a holder too for the quilted moving blanket. Okay, what I did is I made sure this end of the quilt is at least behind the bar. Then I cut the slit in it. Kind of just tested it with the fingers and cut into my finger, but I didn't cut my finger. You know what I mean? And the slit's a little narrower than the strap. So the strap is kind of forced through it, both sides. 
of the Velcro strap. Okay, what I did next is now that I can pull it tight, because this other, remember this side's holding now. Pull it as tight as I can to get it, the edge of that blanket as even as possible behind the bar. And then evened it out on the sides, just like we did before. So it's totally centered, OCD, but it's really, you should have it that way anyway. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, start at the front again. I'm gonna get this side, of, these sides, as even as possible. That one there too. And I'm just gonna follow my way and then I'll go on the very back. I'll get it as tight as I can again. Once I get it as tight as I can, then we'll do our center um, Velcro. Who's up in the house? It's Big Rick, Big Rick, Riggy. Say hi. Riggy? Who's that? Ivy. Say hi, Rick. This uh, video is being recorded with that extra battery. I have this piece of wood too tucked up, you know, up around everything. So the idea is I can cut into this piece of wood, not my fingers. What else I'm doing is I'm using that seam as a reference to meet both edges on either side, at least. I'm onto this corner now. You can see where I'm keeping everything even across. The whole time I'm making the cuts and evening everything out, I'm moving the uh, moving blanket, no pun, in eh, pun intended, but uh, you know, pushing it out, making sure it's nice and flat, no ripples, you know, keeping it as tight as possible. Because you want it to be as tight as possible for when you're folding it back up. This doesn't crinkle up and create bunches, I'm hoping. This is as I'm doing it right now, so how it's going to end, we'll see. But it's turned out pretty cool so far. This is pretty tight, actually, right in the center here. What I'll do in the center is before I make my cuts in the very back, I'll end up folding the blanket over so I can reach the center Velcro easier and make sure I get a nice even cut on that because remember the center ones are already Velcroed. That's what's holding everything tight already. That one I haven't got to yet. We'll get there. Oh, and I should mention my house is older, so mostly if you have a house like this, it's older anyway because most of them are quilted now. So. What I'm using as reference points is behind that Velcro on all these. And I'm pretty sure you can see it on there. It's shinier where the Velcro was, so you can kind of tell where to make your cut. The biggest thing about making your cut is having something behind it so you don't cut through your existing canvas. I haven't done that yet. We're taking a union break right now. I'm going to watch these two fart around. That's big rig. That's a little ivy. Yeah. It just happens to be this way, I guess. Wrigley is about 135, 140 pound Great Dane. He ain't small. Wrigley, come here. Come here, God dang it, I'm gonna get you. Wrigley! You my buddy. Hey, good boy. Say hi to everybody. Ivy, Ivy, you want to say hi too? Okay, okay. Where's your little brother? We got a little one, another one in the house too. I don't regularly want to get back on camera. Hi, hi. I should show you when I make my cut. Crude cut doesn't really need to be pretty. Who cares? I let the flap hang down. Wrigley comes, checks it out. Is everything okay there, bud? Okay there, bud. 
and then I uh, run that Velcro through it so it can keep as tight as possible. Okay, so the front is done. Even. Here's the other concern I had is this fronts because they're not connected from that Velcro or the back of that Velcro. They'd flop over. But I don't think that's going to make a big deal. Plus it's tight. Like I said, I've been pulling as tight as I can. So I don't even know if that'll happen. We'll see when we uh, fold her down. That's going to be the test. Okay, so now here's what I did. All four corners. Centers. Corner. Center. Or center. Corner. Corner. Everything's tight. I made, and then I made sure that all of these edges meet on both sides. Okay. Remember I said moving this moving blanket as much as you can as you're making your cuts. So you want it to be even everywhere. So everything's even. I went and loosened this corner up so then I could fold this over and push it over to get the piece of wood up in here so I can see where to do my cut for the center Velcro. Otherwise you can't get your hand up there. But everything's tight on the far ends first. Got it? Okay. And I made my cut. See, we can see where the Velcro was. See the lines, wear lines. I gotta release that one. Okay, we made her cut. He's sticking through the quilt. Tight again. Let's pull on it. Tight. Velcro it over. Centers are tight. Now we'll do all the edges. Okay. Finished product. It is even on all sides, for the most part. You don't have to be perfect. Fish house for crazy. <laughs> Vents and everything still work up there. Velcro is behind that. I'll show you there. So, so you can just put it up there like this. covers it and you can open it same on both sides so got to pull some through here but other than that I think it turned out pretty good We'll just see how it works eventually. The other thing I was thinking of doing, I don't know how critical it is. We'll see when we're fold her up, but I was thinking of taking this quilted part of it here and taking some flat screws, self-tapping screws, and maybe screwing them in. So it kind of hold it evenly everywhere. I don't know if that's going to be critical or not. We'll see. Yeah, turned out pretty good. Next is going to be folding up. We'll see. Okay, I have all the supports out. We're going to see how well this it's all in there. It's sagging with everything else. So that's good. Now I'll just do the fold up. Outside, you can't see. This looks like a regular house, of course, whatever. Okay, backside's down so far. Drop these next. 
middle poles. It's all falling together pretty good. I leave everything open when I close mine. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but whatever, that's what I do. Oh, everything folded up fine. Covers on. No more maneuver around canvas than normally it is, so it's not a big deal. Well, let's see how setup goes now. She closed up just fine. 